Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is gonna be your love reading for the next 24 hours or so. This will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Welcome, welcome to my channel, Virgo, House of Virgo, okay? So yeah, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. I upload daily. And uh, personal reading links are in the description box below. Okay, if you would like to, well, link, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, it's a phone call reading. All right, let's see, Virgo. Take a look at your person's energy. The past, you know, the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Wow, two sevens, Seven of, Pen Seven of Pentacles, present, Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, King of Swords, Virgo. Got a couple suitors here. The present or the future. I have the devil, the knight of pentacles, and strength. Okay. Straight off the bat here, Virgo. You've got someone in the past that was very focused on their career, um, their investments, their um, their work. Um, the, this king sitting here, he's looking backwards. So I feel like this person was constantly over analyzing or looking back on past choices and decisions and stuff like that and trying to find shortcuts or ways to make more money. There's a lot of pedicle energy here. And I just feel like your person from the past really just had this very focused on their wealth or their material gains. Okay. Um, not really, nothing here of emotions. And also it feels like anytime there might've been an emotional connection, your person just kind of pulled away or some of the swords energy is running away, okay? Um, or just kind of like also then taking a step back to think about things and they were never really sure as far as a relationship goes with you if they wanted to invest, okay? Um, much easier for them to, you know, focus on their work, look back on their past, look back on their, their gains and losses, um, and not really just get too involved. Okay. There you go. Finances and career. That is what their focus was in the past. Um, so if they were ghosting you, this person might have had an avoidant personality and that's how they do that. Deactivated from having an emotional connection with you. Oh, I have to work. Could have been in the form of workaholism. <coughs> or for some of you, it could very well just be they were stable to some degree, but they always had their mind back into the past. And I feel like they just were kind of always on the fence. Okay, even if it wasn't about their career, if they were stable in their career, then they were just always on the, the fence, not knowing whether or not they should invest or not. When the opportunity came up, either they snuck away or when they were gone, they would just be in a very stagnant kind of place or energy. Wow, deception card here with the Seven of Swords. Okay, someone is wearing a false self mask in the relationship and I feel like that was your person, right? They really just didn't, <coughs> you know, it is a king of pentacles. It can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, but whoever your person is, it, the king of pentacles has a tendency to just be very materialistically focused, very logical, analytical. Um, sensual, not overly emotional, just sensual. And I'm sure that you understand. Um, in other words, like deep feelings, but not one to express them often. Okay. Um, so I feel like that's this per type of person that you were involved with in the past, always kind of like on the fence um, and being deceitful. It almost feels like That Seven of Pentacles, I kind of feel like your person had like one foot in your door and one foot out of your door, okay? I'm, I'm here, but I'm not really here. And I'm outside, but I'm not fully outside of the circle. Like kind of just seeing a little bit 
attached to you in a lot of different ways um, because not fully wanting to come all the way in with you, always delaying, delays, 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 but not fully walking away from you, okay? Um, and so leaving a trail of deception and in the past kind of leaving you a little bit confused with things, okay? Um, and I'm not really sure where you are with things now, but in the present, heart-to-heart -heart conversations and children. You're meeting somebody new, Virgo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, yeah. This person is wanting you. They're coming after you. I don't feel like it's your person from the past. It doesn't matter what their sign is. But this person's a very good communicator. I mean, it's like they're up front and interesting. When you talk, this person listens. Look very intently on what you have to say and what your communication is, what you mean, tries to understand. Look how he look at how he's just very much piercing at the person you know, who's talking. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, explain to me. Let me know. And this person, right? Heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like it's gonna be a breath of fresh air because this person coming in is viewing you as like a wish come true for them. I think some of you are letting go of the past and opening up your heart are letting somebody else in. And I see good communication. There might be discussion from this person. They wanna, you know, if they're at a distance, come visit you, there could be travel, but they are very persistent coming towards you, okay? Um, they might have children. There might be communication about ch having children, um, but there's an open heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Now, for some of you, could this be the person in the past? It could be, okay. I will give some of you that. I was not picking that up initially, but it is possible. But I'll get some clarifying cards here. Show me this King of Pentacles from the past. Okay. So the Seven of Wands. This person was very defensive and blocking. And I feel like that pretty much was the issue with them. They couldn't make a decision and they just kept, or they just, weren't really sure. It's like they wanted to be with you, but then they didn't want to be with you. And they just kept blocking and didn't maybe let you in with certain things. Okay, here's the Ace of Wands. So they knew there was a potential there for you in the past with you. They saw it. They saw there could be growth there. I feel like this person deceives themselves or they deceive themselves a lot. I feel like someone's wearing a false mask. I feel like your person, they have to put up a front or pretend to be someone or something that they're really not because they just don't want to reveal or they just have a fear of revealing and they kind of hide in work kind of stuff because that's easier to control. Okay. King of Wands in the past. So now we have two kings. Okay. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it basically was kind of like they dictated how the relationship would go in a way. So kind of coming across in the past as if like, well, I'm not ready to go yet, or I'm not ready to do this yet, or I'm not, I'm not sure, but it still was more like what was ready, what they wanted. There was a lack of consideration about what you wanted as well, right? So let's take a look at this present. Who Tell me about this, King of Swords. Who is this King of Swords? Because now we've got three kings here. And you might have had two people in the past, one who was just procrastinating and one who was just very defensive. There was potential um, with both of them, but too much deception or running away. Okay, that's a separate story for some of you. Okay, show me this King of Swords. Okay, two cards. All right, it's Aquarius for some of you, strong Aquarius, and the Five of Swords. 
<laughs> um, this person is pretty right to the point. They are sharp and right to the point. And in a lot of ways, that's going to feel refreshing for you because the other person in the past just kind of left you out in the dark. There's no, the only swords that this person in the past or people in the past had was the seven of swords. And that's deception. That's a thief of hearts. That's um, betrayal, dishonesty. Okay. So this person with this five of swords, well, it's a little bit to the other side. It's a little bit more extreme. I mean, this person can be very direct with their communication with you. Um, it could seem um, that they might be without tact when they communicate, but the one thing is for sure, you will always, like with them, the heart-to-heart -heart conversation, like it's true, like you'll get the truth. They'll, they're very above board and they speak their mind and they don't really beat around the bush, right? They don't speak in tongues. They're not indirect in their communication. What you see is what you get. And they're very persistent with their communication and they'll be very persistent with you um, because they're looking for, you know, like they're, they want to indulge. They're looking for someone they can indulge with and maybe even have children with. Um, look, Ace of Cups. Oh yeah, you're getting new love, okay? Seven of Cups here, fantasy land. Oh, when you meet this person, like, I don't know if you've already met them or you're already talking to them, but they are insanely crazy about you. And if you haven't met them yet, they will be, okay? Like, you are everything. It's, it's the old, you know, male or female, switch it up as you need, but one man's loss is another man's gain, and if you're letting go of some kind of relationship in the past because somebody was just putting you, you know, in the past or just really being pacifying and keeping you, but really just like, I just feel like the energy is leaving. And I really feel like it's something that you've been wanting to do for a while, Virgo, you know? It doesn't mean that you don't care and don't love this person, but like, I just feel like you, you really are missing the company of having someone in your life that you can just have a conversation with, perhaps, or just talk to or just laugh with and enjoy. So, future flirt, love yourself first, okay. <coughs> hmm. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Devil, and you have the Strength card. Okay. Virgo. Wow. All right. There's definitely an offer that's going to be coming in from, from, for some of you from a Capricorn. It could have been somebody you were involved with in the past. Uh, let me just get it clarifying. For some, it could be a Leo. See, you're you're getting like um, I don't. You're getting some kind of love offer here, but I don't feel like you're going to take it from anybody because I feel that these two people, like the present and the past, I feel like. The one in the in the past, very passive, not really good communicating or keeping up with communication. Something was off. And the person in the present, it's like way over overbearing. So you've got kind of like these two extremes, male or female, it doesn't matter. You've got these two extremes. And you're trying to find that sweet spot, Virgo. You just want to meet somebody in the middle, you know, someone who's not super controlling and isn't, you know, but that's going to be open and um, not too heavily needy or grasping at you. Um, and somebody who is a little patient and can have an element of passivity and give you time to sort things out for yourself as well without feeling pushed, you know. <clears throat> So I just kind of get a sense that you're going to just focus on loving yourself first here. 
because for some reason, Virgo, <clears throat> I feel like you're going to feel this toxic type energy, the past and this person here, new person. It's like two ends of, like two extremes. Let's take a look. This Knight of Pentacles. Wow, Nine of Cups again, yeah. For some of you, Virgo, it's the past and the new person. But for the majority of you, it's this new person, this, this air sign, Aquarius energy. Because the Nine of Cups is in their row. Let's get another card here and see. Wow. I don't know. It's going to play out like either way, whether it's the past person or someone new or both, like either way, somebody's coming in with a solid offer for you in the future. <laughs> There's a devil card again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> both of it, like both of them are like toxic. I'm hearing that Britney Spears song, Toxic. Oh my gosh, show me the devil. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Wow. I just kind of get a sense. Oh, I have to sneeze. Hold on. I just kind of get a sense that you're like, no, nope, not interested in either one of you. Focusing on my self love here. Flirt. It's too, sorry, I've never seen this on camera. I have coughed myself out like, oh, if you were here like three or four years ago on one of my videos, oh my gosh, I know some people remember that. I did a live stream and I was like hacking up a fur ball like it's some kind of cat. Oh my gosh, it was awful. But anyway, look, I feel like for you, Virgo, you're just like, you know what? I'm just loving myself first and I'm flirting and I'm having fun and I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying the rest of my the summer, however I am in the world, and I'm just, you know, keeping things light hearted, having some drinks, going to some social gatherings, spending time with family and friends, going on some dates. I'm not putting any heavy energy into anything. These two solid offers are coming in, and I feel <laughs> that you're just, you might just maybe still continue to talk to both of them but i feel like you're not saying yes to anyone huh, look <laughs> now you have the seven of swords now you're like now you're like the player i guess i don't want to say player but i just kind of feel like you're now you're like no it's my choice now i'm making the decision <laughs> you're going to be the one kind of like running away and doing this self-love, like you get some kind of confidence back of some sort or something from a past and someone who's chasing after you might be a confidence booster. And now you get to be the one to kind of like, I don't feel like you're trying to be deceptive, but I just feel like you're not opening yourself up. I just feel like you just want to be your self-respect and you want to love yourself and you want to like you're sitting down and you're like okay great you're interested in me that's awesome and right you're coming in with a solid offer one of you it's about time the second one you barely even know me and you're trying to like it's insane and you're just like you know what I'm just gonna take my time with this sure I'll still talk to you or I'll still talk to both of you but you're both gonna have to compete and like the solid offer for you Virgo Feels like it has to be more than just this. I mean, this is the best night you can get, but it feels like it's got to be more than this because nights, no matter how slow they go, they're still on the move, right? You want something like the lovers. The lovers is like a contract. That's like something. This is just an offer. Crazy. All right, let me get some different cards here because I don't want to pull the... Um, I'm just kind of feeling like, oh, how they feel about you thing is, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Um, let me see. Give me a second here so I can figure out what I want, what deck I want to pull. All right, I'll just do the Angel Oracle Wisdom deck. I'm going to just take a look and see what other messages there are here for you. 
you know what? Um, while I'm doing that, I'll use my personal deck, my Moon Pie Tarot deck. And I'll also see what other messages there are. Let's take a look here. Yeah, because I, I just kind of feel like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you here. I mean, I feel like your person from the past might get wind that you, um, have, you're you entertaining someone else. So they might feel like you are. And then, you know, they, they pop back in to make some kind of offer at the same time as this new person you're talking to. I don't feel like you're in the mood for any decision making. I feel like you're kind of like, you know what? You both can get in the ring, have a blood sport match and whoever winds up winning, sure. But I'm not gonna sit there and like choose the winner. <laughs> Whoever fights the hardest, I feel. All right, I've shuffled this enough. Mm, okay, Eight of Pentacles, learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar or finding a mentor, attention to detail, skilled work that you love. So somebody, or some of you might be really thinking about learning, taking some kind of courses or going back to school or a seminar, um, maybe switching your career, um, that kind of thing. Um, doing some skilled work, right? Focusing right now on your career, which is great. Also, okay. You have the Queen of Cups. Loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. I feel like now you're working on this. You might have had moments where you were like, maybe feeling down and depressed and really not focusing on yourself as much and just maybe just feeling a sense of sadness and, you know, kind of like, I don't know, not going to the gym, not sticking with your routines, just feeling something morose or kind of melancholy or down. Um, so I feel like the caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. I feel like you're, you're starting to get better at that. Um, maybe you were taking care of too much of another person in a relationship and not understanding things and letting them things go in your own life and some and I feel like the, a new person that comes in really just kind of gives you that little bit of spunk maybe lifts your self-esteem and tells you like you are so worth it and you are so beautiful or handsome and everything about you and that person from the past they're stupid or whatever it I don't whether it's true or not it doesn't seem to matter because it feels like for you Virgo it gives you a little kick it kind of gets you back up on that horse again like and you're like yeah yeah right I don't, it's just, just something weird going on with that okay seven oh no five of swords an unwise choice there's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. All right, Virgo. Very strong message there for you because, you, you know, we have the Seven of Swords here twice in your reading. So you need to be aware of some of those messages. And you have strength. Now that's the last card, the same as it is here. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing Virgo, that you're stronger than you knew. Okay, so Leo energy and strength again, that's a double message of self-love, unconditional love for self, caring about the self, um, You know, some of you might have been told that you have hair like a lion, like a lion's mean hair. <laughs> I just kind of heard that, which is very like specific. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of self-respect, really respecting yourself. You're doing something. Maybe you're saying no, <clears throat> or you're walking away from something, or you're just setting some boundaries somewhere here in your life or 
you know, you're just being selective about who you want to give your time, effort, and energy to. Okay. Are you being deceptive? Maybe that'll seem to another person like you're being deceptive, but because they're not getting what they want, so they think that you're lying or you're hiding something, but the truth is you're not. You're just focused on self. Oh, test of faith and boundaries. See, Virgo, that's what I was saying. Putting up some boundaries here for yourself and with someone. Cupid's arrow, love messages and travel. So definitely expect during this time period, there's a lot of communication coming in, love messages, somebody traveling or wanting or discussing about that, traveling to see you or traveling somewhere with you. There's a new passionate start, <laughs> Virgo. I feel, you know, it is somebody coming in with a new passionate start, but it also feels like you having this new passionate start for yourself or with yourself. You're doing something new. That's what I feel. I'm not sure what it is, but somebody's watching you. They're spying online. Uh-huh. Somebody's watching you. Who is it? I think it's two people. You have some onlookers. You have some people or a person or two people prying eyes, trying to get at the truth. Remember I was saying before that it may seem like you're being deceptive, but you're not. You're just taking care of yourself. And I feel like it's these two people who want to know why you are not accepting. It's almost like maybe if they both get together and find out, they might start talking together or they know each other or they don't. And they're both trying, thinking that you've got somebody else. And you're just like, no, I just have me. And I'm very happy with that. All right. Popular social female. So that's you. You're going to be in the limelight. Or you already are in some way. And you're also receiving kind of some kind of loan. Um, I don't know if you've applied for a loan recently. Or you are applying for a loan for something. But it looks like it's coming through. Okay. You're going to get some kind of offer. Um, let's get a couple more. Because I'm really enjoying this deck. This is my personal deck. Um, if you go to my website, moonpytaro.com, you can purchase this deck yourself. All right, let's see. Time to go. Get your GPS set and take off. You know where you're going and how to get there. Now it's time. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. Go after what you want. No hesitation. Blockages are being removed. Yep, it's go time for you, Virgo. Huh, here's lovers. Twin soul, communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another, even when times are tough. And seen back and forth, this love was meant to be. It's time to reconcile. You very well could be reconciling with your person from the past, but might not be just yet. I think you might be putting something on hold if they're coming in with some kind of an offer. Um, this past person is, I do feel like they are your twin soul, your t uh, twin soul, twin flame, soulmate. I call it twin soul. I do feel like this, they are your other half, but the timing's not right. You've got some work to do and you're starting some new things in your life or you're on a different kind of path and you're now calling the shots. And does it mean you don't want to be with your person from the past if they're reconnecting with you again? Not necessarily, but I think that you're putting yourself first and then you're kind of like telling your secretary, oh, just take a message and let them know. I'll call them back later. <laughs> you're just not jumping anymore. If you were jumping or, you know, yeah, because you you're hitting rock bottom with something here. Maybe it's self. Maybe you were over giving or you were becoming codependent or just too much like focused or waiting or, or this person kept coming back and connecting with you and trying to give like you know want to have like saying all this stuff to you and then i think you're just like i'm out that's it <laughs> with yourself i don't think you're necessarily cutting this person out but i think they're no longer a priority i feel like you're making yourself a priority you're having a new love start in your life and you have options and you have choices now okay whereas maybe you didn't feel like you did before now you do and you also have the choice to say, no, thank you. 
So Virgo, that's going to be your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little extra bonus for you, 30 minutes. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.